a good thing, not a bad thing. By the way, you know, people say, oh, he got along with, with the stupid press. They go, some of the stupid press. Some of the press is not stupid at all. But they say he got along with Putin. That's a terrible thing. He said, no, no, that's a good thing. He's got 1,800 nuclear weapons. So do we. And the biggest risk today, you know, when I hear these poor fools talking about uh, global warming, they don't call it that anymore. They call it climate change because, you know, some parts of the planet are cooling and warming. It didn't work. So they finally got it right. They call it, uh, they just call it climate change. They used to call it global warming. You know, years ago, they used to call it global cooling. In the 1920s, they thought the planet was going to freeze. Now they think the planet's going to burn up. And we're still waiting for the 12 years. You know, we're down almost to the end of the 12-year period. You understand that with these lunatics that know nothing. They weren't even good students at school. They didn't even study it. They predict, they said, we have 12 years to live. And people didn't have babies because they said, we only yeah. have another. No, no, it's so crazy. But the problem isn't the fact that the oceans in 500 years will raise a quarter of an inch. Uh, the problem is nuclear weapons. It's nuclear warming. The level of power of the nuclear weapon today, the, uh, you take a look, go back many, many decades and look at Hiroshima, Nagasaki. That was so many years ago. And now you look at today and multiply that, what took place there by 300, 400 times. So that's the problem. That's the biggest risk today. Now with our country, the biggest risk is... All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel. Much peace and blessings to all you sisters so Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, with charity. This is your brother Ashman, the great millstone man. We can't come back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushak. No one in this lesson is edifying to the elect. And in this lesson, it's going to be uh, a little slight commentary on this interview that I uh, just watched today with uh, the president. Donald Trump and this is on the Sean Ryan show he interviewed Trump and it was a pretty good interview you know a lot of things were said and before I get into the uh, nature of the lesson we know that this is all uh, political theater and uh, who, you know uh, both parties the left, right wing, Democrat, Republican, whoever comes in the office, they're taking orders. Okay, they're puppets. But if you believe, if you're somebody that believes in this system and you believe in voting and you're political and all that, and you 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 voting for this demon, this cackling demon, right, over Trump, then that that shows you're. You're really, you're really bugged out. Okay? Because uh, if you really believe in this system, and you believe everything that these people are saying, you know, Trump ain't really, he ain't really saying nothing wrong. He ain't really saying nothing crazy. But, like uh, the elder Ritazawani in Chicago said, they, they might just, they might just put Kamala in there just to, really stir the pot you know Lord willing shit Kamala do get elected that'll really stir the pot man but um one thing that stood out to me in this in this uh interview which I'm gonna put in the post production you should already have seen it is how Trump spoke on the nukes he spoke on nuclear weapons he spoke on Russia he spoke on the war in Ukraine and he mentioned that, he said, he said, F all that climate change shit. He said, that's all BS. Basically, he said, that's all BS. And um, he said, the real threat to humanity is nuclear weapons. The real threat to America is nuclear weapons. Right? He spoke about how even if you did everything that these people uh, say, you know, zero emissions and get rid of all the cows and all that 
the and you produce this clean air, the clean air is gonna blow off the country. <laughs> right? Showing you that these people that's behind this climate shit is all bullshit. Okay. But um Yeah, he said the nukes is the real threat, it's the real problem. He mentioned how Russia have 1,800 nukes, right? He spoke about Iran's nuclear program. He spoke about how these other nations, basically he said uh, the, the weak are saying I'm strong. He, he spoke about how America's looking very weak. He mentioned the Afghanistan, uh, the Afghanistan, Or can I say basically it was a shit show what happened in Afghanistan where they basically uh, fleed or fled and they left all those weapons over there I remember the memes when they had people trying to get basically when the Taliban retook over uh, Afghanistan I forget what exactly what year that was but I remember the memes of motherfuckers trying to jump on the planes and shit but um that just goes to show where we are in, in this timeline of prophecy. It shows you how close we are to the end of this thing. And, and we know through the spirit of power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai that America will be taken out by those missiles, not by uh, climate change, not by a meteorite, not by, um, you know, anything other than those missiles. That's how, that's how this place is going out. And we know that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi al through the prophecies. But this is the ex-president of the United States, could be the next president of the United States, bringing it, bringing it out how, how serious this issue is. So all you motherfuckers scoffing the prophets, starting with our apostles and elders and the men that came before them, right? Scoffing us. Scoffing the truth, scoffing the doctrine. Oh, that'll never happen. Oh, the American military, this and that. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. This is this is your president letting you know how serious this is. And he said, if he said if Kamala get in there, we're doomed. Which either way, America is doomed. But that'll that'll really that'll really get shit popping, man. Okay. So, whatever happens, we all for it, but whatever is going to bring the most chaos, the quickest, that's what we want. So, let's just get some scriptures. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch what he will say unto me and what I shall answer him when I am, answer when I am reproved. And that's the job of the prophets, to stand on their watch and to look out for the current events globally and, and tie them with biblical prophecy and to measure the times diligently and to let it be known to the people of, of, of what time we're in and, and what's to come next, the future events to come. Okay, and that's all done through the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You, the, the spirit of the Lord has to work with you in order to do that. It's not a carnal thing. But you have people that are not under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem El Shai and, and the spirit that the Holy Spirit is not supping with them. But they they can clearly see how this you know prophecy that we teach can can be a, a, a reality, a true reality. And it's, it's, it's becoming more and more of a reality every single day. And it's going to keep doing so until that day where this place is actually destroyed. And we hope that it's soon. Okay? Verse 2. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Okay, the, the one that readeth it and understands it are the, the men of the Lord that the Spirit of the Lord is working with to, to understand it. Okay? But the vision 
it's, it's only plain to those that have eyes to see, that have the eyes solved, that know America is Babylon the Great, who art to be destroyed by violence, as it say in the scriptures. Right? Psalms, uh, was that? Psalms 1, one uh, what's that? Is this Psalm? Psalms 137. Right. Yeah, Psalms 137. Daughter of Babylon will ought to be destroyed. It's talking about America. Revelation 18 said, Thus will violence shall like great city Babylon be thrown down. So it has to be taken out through warfare. Right? And it's going to be taken out through those nuclear weapons. That's that's the end game for the United so-called States of America. And you have number 45 himself bringing it out. And this and this interview already have two million views in a day. Okay. So the word is going out. The, the truth is going out. People are finding out. And they're going to keep finding out. <laughs> All right. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So although this prophecy, these prophecies that we read in the scriptures were written thousands of years ago, the Lord said, when the time comes, you're going to know. You're going to be, you're going to know. And there's going to be no doubt about it because it's going to speak. Meaning, these things are going to be in your face. It's going to be evident. They're going to speak for themselves. And that's how you know the famine of the word is, is nigh too. Because our work is almost done. Ain't, ain't, ain't really t too much to be said. In the, in the next coming, you know, days, months, possibly years, hopefully not. What, you know... It's, 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 it's coming to the point where the Lord is, is going to close the mouth of his prophets because you got people already speaking of prophecies. The prophecy is already becoming household, uh, you know, conversations, man. Typical workplace conversations. And people don't even know that they, they're talking about actual pro biblical prophecies. That the prophets have been attempting to warn them about for years. Okay. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So it's not tarrying, man. Something's going to happen between this election and there's going to be more and more black swan events and ultimately you know black after black swan event after the nut after the next after the next after the next back to back to back the 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 cherry on top is going to be those missiles that's going to totally wipe this place away okay and that will be the end of the so-called united states of america So this is pretty much it. It's something I wanted to speak on. Hopefully it was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Until the next one, Shalom.